welcome liberance right let's see what is happening for the liberance 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 what is happening for the liberance liberance okay liberance this is the month of may it is the month of may liberance Let's see what is coming up. Because it's the month of May. All right. Let's get in this. Now, let bring this one to play. Let bring this one to play. Hey, Librans. Okay. So, Librans, we have the energy of the magician. Um, This is... Uh, our energy of your higher self, connecting with your higher self, um, receiving guidance and messages to come out in the first week of May. Uh, the first week of May is going to be good for uh, some of you who have a uh, Taurus in your birth chart. Energy of the Empress is here. You're dealing with your husband, a female figure, um, in the second week. In the third week, you're trying to find strength to deal with some sort of an issue. Um, you're enduring through some sort of an issue with uh, um, your partner. And I see a cycle is over. So whatever this issue, this problem, this situation is and was, I see a lot of you liberals are trying to work through the issue, work through the problem. Um, recognizing that there is uh, changes that is coming up, okay? Um, the sense of uh, um, the energy of the magician coming up and speaking to you with um, the energy of the empress. It's about, um, you know, excelling, using your higher self to excel in a very, very positive way, okay? So... It is, it is a sense of you being awake, making changes, transforming your life, um, looking for um, the best thing to help you to recognize who you are. And this is going to be good. Um, you're enduring to a process that is going to be helping you live in. So um, let's go in and see what is coming up and transpiring. Um, and uh, um, let's recognize uh, um, the source of the energy that is um, flowing in this uh, um, month of May for you guys, which is um, very, very good. <laughs> Unbelievable. So you have overcome a situation um, with... Uh, a young woman you recognize who this um Aries Leo or Sagittarian is you feel connected to this person for whatever the situation is and I see you defeated this person so whoever this person is is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person where you recognize what this person was doing and uh, you resolve the situation by completely using your source of truth to, to defeat this person okay then we see influence the eight of swords where a lot of you were not aware how this person was um and the cycle is ending for this person whoever this person is so this person tried to create a whole lot of issue and influence a situation. And um, now you are going to be moving um, away from this person. Okay, you're detached in. Yep, Seven of Cups. You're detaching from this person. You are really detaching from this person. Liberance. 
It's, it's serious. The energy of the Four of Pentacles is here. And I see some sort of a cycle. It's as if you were, um, this person was your partner, you were helping them out. You came up in the last week, especially you ladies. Ladies between the age of 18 and 50. A cycle is now over. Uh, you and a, a, a Leo. They're now recognizing who is this Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman. Whoever this lady is and whatever that was happening in Transpar, um, people are now recognizing who this person is and was. Okay? So, a lot of you Librans are dealing with maybe a sister that is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. This person is in the reverse. So it's as if uh, the magician is showing you something about this person. A person is in reverse and it's as if the magician is saying to you, look out for this person. Um, it is a situation. It could be a sister, a friend, and you have defeated this person. You have definitely defeated this person. Um, there was some sort of a situation with a whole lot of money that this person was trying to gain. And uh, you really stood your ground in order to um, balance out the situation. The energy of the magician is also going to be releasing um, something. It's as if you were blinded by something and the energy of the magician is coming up and it's going to be releasing you from whatever the situation is or whatever it is that you were blinded by. Okay, so be aware of this. And um, it has to do with a, a bank, a financial institution, money. So it's as if this person was trying to receive uh, some money that was not theirs. Um, but it's as but it, it, it is as if uh, the universe have stopped it. So that is good. Then we see the energy of the empress. And for some of you, maybe this person was your child. And I see your very emotion. And... Um, you're dealing with a scorpion woman. Whoever the scorpion woman is could be um, the sister, the mother of your wife. And whatever the influences that these people were using um, to misguide you is no longer working. It is as if uh, your angels and guides comes in and place some sort of a shield over you um, to protect you. When we look at the third week, the third week is the energy of strength and there is influence. There's a lot of influence. This energy of strength bring forward a whole lot of influence. And this influence, you have to defeat this influence because it's as if um, a lot of you recognize uh, what was going on. And this month is going to be affecting the people between the ages of 19 and uh, 50. And I see a whole lot of emotions, a whole lot of emotions over a whole lot of money, a whole lot of money that you should have gotten. Um, there is a whole lot of emotional uh, situation that has transpired. And it's as if um, you are really um, in balance with this emotional situation. As you come to the end of the month, you're going to be basically um, leaving the situation behind. You're ending. Ending the emotional roller coaster that a lot of you were having inside and just letting it go. Just, you know, letting things be how they are and uh, understanding, um, you know, this is where I stop whatever that was going on. I stopped the influence. So, and they're now recognizing because um, an end is uh, been brought to, to uh some of you ladies are going to be ending some sort of an issue you were having with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman. Okay. And you are standing because I see you standing your ground against this person and kind of letting this person know, hey, you know, this is what it is, but I'm ending um, what we have been going through. So it, it could be your mom. If your mom is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, I see some sort of an ending. Ending that is going to be coming up and is going to be affecting her financial status. So this ending is going to be there. <coughs> All right. So 
we see that a um Aries Leo Sagittarian person and their mother have now some sort of an emotional roller coaster with a scorpion woman. And uh, the Eight of Swords is where a lot of you liberals weren't seen clear. So it could be a sister, it could be your partner. Um, and this person, I see now the ending is going to be over because whatever the situation is, and um, if this person, the Pisces Cancer Scorpion person was uh, their mother, I see emotional situation being ended because we see a cycle is here and you defeated this person because the energy of the magician had showed you and guided you to what this person was doing. And you find the inner strength to, um, to stop um, financially supporting this person or to just stop financially helping this person. Okay, so it could be a wife, it could be a sister. Um, however, and it could be a girlfriend, however this person is coming up. Then we recognize the Eight of Swords, where you weren't seeing something clearly, especially you ladies between the ages of 19 and 50. And it is about a whole lot of money. And this, um, the, the cycle is now over because it's as if uh, whether or not you ladies were getting some um, money, whatever that was transpiring. I see... Um, the energy of the mother, but also the energy of, uh, it's as if some of you were financially um, uh, um, helping yourself or financially helping your mom. But that cycle is going to be over because the cycle is going to be over for a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. And that is going to be affecting a lot of you Leos, uh, Librans. And the situation is that... Uh, um, I'm sure I made this video, <laughs> um, because I saw you guys, uh, um, because this is the last video and it's because I can't find the one that I made, uh, you know, and, and this is kind of weird because it was the same thing where, uh, the Leo's, it was in the Leo's video, go check out the Leo's video. I don't know what is going on with you Librans and the Leo's. But I see the Leos are really despising you liberals for whatever the reason is, whether it is your sister, whether it's a family member, whether it's your partner, and they really, and you feel heartbroken. And you young ladies are back because what what is happening is that the energy of uh, the princess uh, of wands is an Aries Leo or Sagittarian. And this person uh, tried to create a lot of confusion for you. And this confusion was uh, um, speaking about you um, creating emotional imbalance for you, where you had to find inner strength. You had to really step back, find inner strength to endure um, the, the information, the communication that this person um, was sending towards you. And I see now an end is here. You have defeated this person. And I guess that's why this person is coming so hard at you. You have defeated this person and uh, financially you won't be supporting this person. And I think that that's why this person have this sort of a hate towards you, okay? So it's as if you were supporting this person, helping this person out, okay? The energy of the magician is your sister sign, the Gemini. And the Geminis are here and it's as if the magician showed you something about your sister because the connection um, between um, this person is their mother or your mother, but it's coming up as their mother. And um, I see you defeat this person and end the the communication between you and this person because of uh, you recognize that this person um, is not understanding where you are and the position that you're looking at. So you're ending some sort of an emotional roller coaster and, you know, really putting a point behind it because the world is here. And I see you're going to be able to uh, sustain yourself financially um, without this person. However, um, you are that your mother is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. I see that they're going to be recognizing you know, um, that, you know, you have to know pick up the rain by um, um, going to financially support your mom. So it is serious. It's influence and detach. Influence and detach is the energy for the month. 
okay whatever is transpiring some sort of an influence you're going to be detached in yourself so they recognize uh, whoever this Leo is is from another place another country they and their parents uh, and uh, it is someone who traveled to live in another country um, that a lot of you um, have an issue with. And they recognize that this person pretend to be um, the, the, the child of someone or pretend that a child was theirs. Okay, so we see the energy of the baby. So obviously, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, this person tried to, you know, they... Uh, they travel to another country, it could be under someone else's name, someone else's child name, and try to create a whole lot of issues. I see, surprisingly, Librans, you're going to be getting out of the situation, okay? Whatever that was happening, surprisingly, um, you're going to be getting out of the situation. And this is what I'm saying. Um, you're going to be ending ending the struggle um some sort of a financial struggle because this money is going to be returned to you so however um this was happening and transpiring okay uh, and um you're going to be standing your ground um over and, and, and supporting your mom because a, a message is coming in that a cycle is now over. Okay, so it is that um, whoever this person is, is this Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person, you won fair and square. And you won fair and square because um, unexpected, surprisingly, um a, a situation um that you were dealing with is just going to be released um because it's as if people recognize uh, um what this person have done they now rec recognize that an Aries Leo fire sign person took a lot of money saying that they had a child and people are going to be recognizing it wasn't their child okay um it wasn't their child and yeah, people are going to be recognizing this. So they're going to be recognizing um, that a young woman um, and her partner, because I see um, here it is, whoever this young lady is, this Aries Leo Sagittarian, um, um, you know, took money. And they now see that this person is not the right person. Okay. Alighiera, Alighiera is that, you Librans are now so happy that some money came in. Okay, so um, they end a cycle for the Leo. Um, whoever this Leo person is, they end a the cycle because they recognize that. And it's a situation where what I'm seeing is that uh, um, if you... Uh, and this Leah was getting some sort of a money. Um, they now recognize uh, um, what uh, and how you um, how this money should be shared. But an end is coming in because the money is no longer coming. So it is some um, um, sort of a ruffling effect. Where a letter is going to be coming into you, Librans, uh, um, advising you that the money is no longer, uh, you know, they're going to be, it's as if they block and freeze money that you, Librans, have. Okay, they recognize that you, Librans, together with a Aries the Earth fire sign person, um, have took money on the false pretend. And they're now going to be blocking this money because you see, I end um, to the um, to the four of pentacles, and the money is there, but it's as if they're blocking it. So it's as if a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person tried to give both of you money, but it's as if they're going to be blocking it. So um, 
your sister or this person is in another place, you're in another place, and some sort of a news is going to be coming in. And this is going to be very emotional because I see um, unhappiness because um, whoever the scorpion is, uh, um, recognize uh, um, that there was some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue um, that has transpired. Okay, so I see that um, it's, it's as if someone was paying you guys um, for something. Okay, and it's as if the money... Um, should have come in, but then an end came. Then the bank financial institution said, no, no, no. Um, that's not the person. These are not the people. And block it. So I see that is coming up. Okay. So wisdom. This month is about, the magician comes up with wisdom. And it's about um, recognizing um, that... Uh, whatever play because uh, there it is this air is there a Sagittarian person there a bank or financial institution the six of swords is ending and blocking some money from this person so that this person cannot access this money so it's as if they recognize that whoever this air is there a spice and person is uh, um their mother was going to be sending them some sort some money um for them and I see they're going to be blocking so the end is as if you and this person yeah the end and I see you Libran recognize that um the end is here you Libran recognize that as uh, something is now um coming to an end there is nothing more to do because um this situation is now ended then I see priors and I see the um the Aries, the Orifice sign person is praying, praying, praying for a resolution because this person will recognize that um, it is what it is. It doesn't look good for, um, for the future for this person, whatever this person have done and whatever this person have created to affect you, Leo, um, Librans. Um, then um, a whole lot of um, messages are going to be coming in for some of you Librans uh, a uh, young lady to pay back a whole lot of money. So they're going to be recognizing that some of you Libran young lady had gotten money um, either from a bank financial institution and they're going to be coming down because here it is a lot of message, a lot of message. And you're going to be surprised because they're going to be saying you need to pay back the money. So you Librans, um, this is like a whole lot of, because uh, it's not a happy one. If you recognize, it's not a happy one. So both you and this Leo is praying. And I guess that's why this Leo is so upset with you. Go back and check out the Leo reading. Um, they're upset is because you, Lib you Librans have gotten them in some serious situation where a bank financial institution have stopped the flow of money. And they are, and they are going to be sending a message that you Libra needs to pay back some money because the money was not yours. So a cycle is over and it is a situation where you and this person could have had uh, maybe a bank account or um, um, a company could have recognized that some of you got money and it wasn't for you. And they are going to be coming down on you Libra because I see um, you got a message yeah, the message comes in and this message uh, makes you crazy about you have to be paying back a whole lot of money. So Librans, be aware. Gossip, gossip, gossip. A whole lot of gossip. There's a whole lot of gossip. And the gossip is over a child. The gossip is over um, a situation with a child. I see um, the Aries Leo. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarian um, was defeated and it has something to do with a child and the end is here and a whole lot of gossip a whole lot of gossip is going on I see conflicts inner conflicts for this Aries Leo Sagittarian person because they have to pay back a whole lot of money because they recognize that they got some money um, that they wasn't so this is someone from another country another city that tried to get away with a whole lot of money and they blocked it they definitely blocked it. And I see a whole lot of people now is discussing um, the situation. 
So again, um, this message comes up and I see whoever the Pisces Cancer Scorpion person is, uh, is now recognizing that uh, um, they got themselves connected to you Libran and they now recognize that maybe it wasn't the right thing to do because whatever they were trying to do with you, I see you Librans are really standing and um, standing on top of this person and it's as if you are, um, this person is recognizing that, hey, the Libran told me that it was, would be better um, to send the money uh, this way and now we are caught and now I am in some sort of a serious trouble. So Librans, this is a heavy, heavy month. Okay, and um, a lot of you are going to be getting some sort of a news um, that you were not expecting. And um, I see the balance for a cancer person is no longer there. Um, the balance for a scorpion person is no longer there. So if your mother is a scorpion or a cancer, the balance for this person is no longer there. Some sort of a, a problem with bank financial institution, this person is now worried. Because this person recognized that, that there was uh, some uneven play that was transpired and they could have caught this person. So Libran, it is a month of uh, wisdom, prior gossip, you know, um, that is going to be your energy for this period. Um, I do love you guys, but this is a, a period where there is simply um, you... You will overcome this period. You will victoriously overcome this period, but it's a heavy one. I gotta go.